Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello and welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, we'll be learning about tags and how to add values to mark data. So let's get right to it. Now, what are tags? We're going to learn in this lesson. Let's go to our typical spot fire. Let's first make two visualizations. Let's make a scatter plot and then let's make a bar chart. I would like the bar chart to be over here. And right now it's not of any significant importance. So basically, what I want to do is close my bar chart right now. So what are tags and how are we gonna do them? As you can see, when you go to your view panel, you have the tags option over here. So how do you use them? So basically you go to your view panel, click on tags, and tags pop up. To create a new tag, you name it whatever you want. Right now, since we're working on price versus cost, I'm gonna talk about demand. So let's work on hierarchies, okay? I've created a hierarchy. We have the untagged column over here. So I'm gonna consider this area of high demand, the area that comes under the price of 1,000 and under the unit cost of 800. This is under high demand. So let's just take these values over here. Let's click on this and then create a new tag. The new tag will be named as demand because this is the demand. And when you click on demand, you have the option over here to attach tag to mark rows. So when I attach the mark rows to this tag, you can see these many rows have come along with this. I want to create a new tag named as normal. Now I'm gonna attach the normal demand values over here, which are considered to be these ones. And then I'm gonna add them to the normal. Now these are the exceptional cases. So I'm gonna add a new tag called exceptional. And I'm going to click on exceptional and mark these data to these tags. So I have two, four columns now demand, the normal, exceptional, and untagged values. Now I have a tag named hierarchy. And as you can see, when you make a visualization over here, let's suppose it's a bar chart, and you bring the bar chart uh, all the way over here, you maybe reduce this. You can actually change the channel go down you have the hierarchy option when you click on hierarchy as you can see it gives you a bar chart based on demand the normal exceptional and untagged areas so you can actually compare this by visualizations and actually choose your data to maybe suppress this data as well now that's how you use tags another thing that's very important is to go to data and go to your data table properties, go to your edit area. Right now I've already done it, but let's suppose I removed it. And then you add a selected column, which you have already worked on, which is the order ID. And then you click OK. After you do that, you apply it and then you say OK. And your tags are saved. So basically, when you open this data the next time, what happens is that this hierarchy option has been saved according to your requirements. So I hope you've understood how the uh, data tagging works and I hope to see you in the next lesson as well.